Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. I had a really good time on my birthday yesterday. I really did. I, thanks, thanks to everybody that uh, sent me well wishes and everything. I had a bunch of them. I don't know if I was able to to reply to everyone or not. If I didn't, I sure do appreciate it. Especially on Facebook. I got a bunch and I got a bunch on my uh, video videos yesterday. And I appreciate each and every one of your uh, messages so much. I read all of them. I don't know if I got around to, to I fell asleep uh, with my hand, with my phone in my hand last night. For I, I just was exhausted. So I'll try to get back around to, to them if I haven't. <laughs> I, I did try my best. I just had so many between Facebook and my, my comments and videos. I had so many. I just was, I was really... Happy to see all of them. Uh, what happened to my pen? I gotta have that. Good grief. Kitty must have got it. I'll be right back. Okay, I have to have my pen. All right, on our uh, prayer requests. The family of Diane Clark had a family member pass away. Pray for the family of Caitlin. She passed away unable to receive a liver transplant in time. Epiphania is in the Philippines and uh, they had some bad weather, but she must be fine because I, I noticed she was on, uh, on had a, a video or something yesterday, but I didn't have time to check on it yet. But they must have uh, made it through all that mess. Okay. Lisa's mother's better and got to come home from the hospital Sunday. Wendy would like us to pray for our world. A nine-year-old girl has two infected uh, kidneys. Pray she gets better. A friend of Sarah Lewis, uh, Corey, was cutting wood and it kicked back on him and cut a finger off. So pray he's okay after that. That has to be... It has to hurt real bad for one thing, but it has to be very traumatic. Something like that it would be very, very traumatic. You know, if you lose a finger or something. Um, to pray for his, you know, mental health too. He's probably very, you know, in shock. Uh, Kathy, and also Kathy, and a lot of y'all know her from Kathy's Favorite Things. She found out she has cervical cancer, so she's very upset. As, as anybody would be if they were told they had cancer. Okay. Our, our scripture of the day comes from Proverbs 30, 24 to 31. Four things on earth are, are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are, are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Hyraxes are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the crags. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. A lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it's, it is found in king's palaces. There are three things that are stately in their stride, four that move with stately bearing, a lion, Mighty among beasts who retreats before nothing, a strutting rooster, a he goat, and a king secure against revolt. Get a drink of my coffee here. Okay. Okay, our devotion is entitled Relaxing with Purpose. Ramish loves to tell others about Jesus. He boldly speaks with co-workers and one weekend each month returns to his village to evangelize from house to house. His enthusiasm is contagious, especially since he's learned the value of taking time to rest and relax. Ramesh used to spend every weekend and most evenings proclaiming the gospel. His wife and children missed him when he was out and they found him exhausting when he was around. He needed to make every minute and conversation count. He couldn't enjoy games or small talk. Ramesh was wound too tight. 
He was awakened to his imbalance by the honest words of his wife, the counsel of friends, and somewhat obscure, obscure passages of Scripture. Proverbs 30 mentions trivial things, such as ants, roosters, and locusts. It marvels how a lizard can be caught with a hand, yet it is found in the king's palaces. Ramesh wondered how something to, so mundane made it into the Bible. Observing lizards required significant downtime. Someone saw a lizard darting around the palace and thought, that's interesting, and paused to watch some more. Perhaps God included it in his word to remind us to balance work with rest. We need hours to daydream about lizards, catch one with our kids, and simply relax with family and friends. May God give us wisdom to show when to work, serve, and relax. How are you balancing work and rest? Would those closest to you say that you love them? Why or why not? Jesus, your love frees me for productive work and meaningful rest. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that, that's been affected by the virus or these hurricanes, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. You know, that one speaks to me because I do tend to overdo it sometimes and I need to rest more with my family. So I need to work on that myself. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh-oh, something fell. I don't see Kitty over here. She must be in the window in the uh, the bay window in there in the in the living room. She can see all her birds from that one, and she likes being in the open windows. But of course, all the windows are closed right now. It got pretty cold, and uh, I don't know what the low was. It was 35 when uh, Joy said when she got up, but um, it doesn't look like there's the frost on the ground that, that there was yesterday. But we went ahead and turned on our furnace finally to see if it would work and heat it up in here a little bit. And it, it actually turned on. And we, we pray about that, you know, pretty much every year because it's, it's so old and we, uh, we just don't think it's going to, we're, we're wondering if it's going to turn on, you know, because we can't, we couldn't afford to have it worked on and it's so old i don't know if they would even still have parts i guess they would it's about 40 years old but it's up and running so god got it going for us so it feels a little bit better in here i still don't turn it way up though because i don't you know i don't want to be toasty i just want to be you know fairly warm and i got it to where everybody's comfortable i think it's like 68 or something like that. Usually we have it on like 65 in the winter. If our bill goes way up, I may have to put it down a little bit. We'll see. All right, everybody. I'll, I'll be doing my walk here in a little while. I'm going to let it warm up just a little bit. So I'll see you later on and take a walk with me, everybody. God bless.